Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you guys with my Make a Mix Monday. And today I want to do, I wanted to do like a red mix. And again, I don't know how it's going to come out. We're going to make it together. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys pick a name for it like last time. And uh, we will go ahead and pick a winner sometime during the week. Uh, most likely I will have my daughter again go ahead and I will read the list to her and she can go ahead and pick her favorite and I will go ahead and leave you a comment. I will like it and I will um, leave you a comment if we choose you and of course you will see we will do a little video on it so you can also see how you were picked okay or who was picked. So let's go ahead and get straight to the mix. Again it's going to be a red mix so there's going to be a lot of reds in here. But I'm also throwing in other colors as well. So let's go ahead and get started. My first one I'm doing is a base. For my base, of course, it's going to start with red. And I'm doing this really, really beautiful um, scarlet red, which is here. And I'm going to try to put the names on the bags of most of them. Like if, um, like for instance, I'm just using like a white or something, I'm just going to leave the the bag blank but if it's something like this that you want to request for later I'll be sure to put a name on it so you know exactly um, which one uh, you want and then I'll know exactly which red it is that you're looking for so for like um, like I said for instance this one is a scarlet red so I'll be sure to put scarlet on here so I know exactly what red it is that you want if you ever want to order again later on in the future okay so um, you're gonna get uh, it's gonna be all a tablespoon okay as usual so this is the first one, which is the Scarlet Red. And I'm going to do a tablespoon. And I can't find my brown tablespoon for some reason. It's most likely either in, in one of my jars somewhere. So I'm going to be using this one. This is the same thing. It's the same a, a tablespoon. Uh, but this is a different one. This is the one I like to use sometimes when I'm doing my bags. It's, it fits easy in here, so we're going to be using this one. And the only reason I don't use it that much is because it's really, really heavy. And when I'm bagging, like, a lot of orders, this gets heavy in my hand, and it kind of cramps my hand a little bit because I don't know it's very heavy. So let's go ahead and do a tablespoon. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to say I want to do a two of these, okay? So let's do one. Because again, I need to make enough for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to go ahead and do two. Yeah, I really don't like that spoon. I really need um, to find my larger one. It's either in one of my jars or I just have it misplaced in my other little table that I have here on the side. But again, I have so many glitters out and stuff that um, it gets lost in the chaos, guys. It gets lost in the chaos. So that's the first one. You're getting one bag. Uh, this one's going to have quite a bit of bags in it. So... We will go over the prices in a minute. I'm also going to be using some matte coral red. Which I actually have in two sizes that I'm going to be using. Um, the first one I'm going to do is this one. And this one is in... Mm, it's smaller than 1mm. So I'm going to say... I don't even know what size this is, but I'm going to say this is about, uh, well, it might be 1mm, I'm not sure, but they're really small. You can see they're pretty small. My screen, there we go. Okay, there's that one. I'm going to put a tablespoon of this one. Okay, I'm trying to see how to put this so you can actually see all of them. Uh, maybe if I put them down here and like this. Okay, so I'm going to do a full tablespoon. Let me give this a wipe. I don't like to contaminate my glitters with other glitters. So, usually I have like a like a little towel or something. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of that in there. And of course, if I if I feel like I want to tweak it, I will go ahead and um, 
add more or less of something and and we'll just go from there okay so I want to make sure I get all my reds in here first and then I'll go ahead with the other little colors okay the next one is going to be it's kind of like the same corally red but it's in a much finer as you can see it's probably a 0 0.15 maybe smaller I'm not even sure but they're really tiny little hexes so I'm gonna throw in a, a tablespoon of that as well I'm getting so wipe again it's like for some reason I noticed that with this one also um, it's like the glitter stays stuck on this on this um, the shiny metal and with my other one it's more like a brushed finish so it seems like not so much sticks on it maybe that's why I don't like it as much either aside from it being so heavy so I'm gonna do a tablespoon as well okay and you can see how it just sticks all over it's just all over sticky so we're gonna be doing a lot of wiping here guys I really need to find that other one. Let me put this over to the side. The next red I want to use is a Pearl Essence Corally Red. The other two, like these ones, they're like in the matte. And this one's another red, but it's in a Pearl Essence Red. Okay, and this one is a 2mm Hexies. And you see how it's going to give it that shimmery shine that we all like. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Also doing a tablespoon. Maybe less. I'm going to do less than that. It's kind of like a very, 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 very soft tablespoon there, okay? So we're just going to throw that in there as well. Okay, I am also doing my printed metallic red, also a really soft tablespoon. It's the ones with the prints, and it's I really love the red on this because it's like a super deep, deep red, and then the silver that's with it is like extra sparkly, so I thought it would look really pretty in there. So just like a little bit of that as well. It's like like a really dark, like a almost like a like a brick red. Really pretty. Okay, and then another one. Oh, I'm sorry, this one is a tablespoon. You're also getting of that. Okay, it's right there. Another one that we are doing is this red. And this red is a, it's like from the fish scale series where they do with the fish scales, but um, I asked for them in dots and they look like this. Okay, so we're going to do a tablespoon of this as well. Well, I think there's one. Oh, here's the other red okay so let me go ahead and do again a tablespoon of that a tablespoon of that I'm also going to throw in this red right here and this one's a bit of more of a I don't know it's kind of like a little bit of a deeper red and this one is a fantasy red and these are in like 1mm hexes So to the back of the spoon. I don't know why. Very strange. Okay. The next one I'm using is going to be my Raspberry Beret Red, which is this one in the Extra Fine. And this one has that uh, violet shimmer effect, but it's like in that uh, Raspberry Plum color. 
Okay, so a tablespoon of this as well. I actually might do two tablespoons of this one. So we're gonna do one, and I'm gonna do one more. Okay, and they're heaping, they're nice and full. Okay. So there we go. And let me um Okay, there's that one. Okay, I already put it there. I also have something very similar in butterflies. And this one, I this one is kind of like my plum red butterflies, also with the purple shimmer. Okay, so we're going to do some butterflies in there. And I have some other color, color butterflies that are going to go in there as well. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of those butterflies. Those are the fantasy um, raspberry plum. I am also doing... Um, I want to throw in some holographic in here to kind of break up all the red a little bit. So we're going to do some holographic extra fine and I'm going to do the holographic fine in silver. Okay, just a, tea, a, a tablespoon. Okay. I'm sorry, but all this wiping is driving me mad. I just don't want this glitter to go into my other glitters, you know. So there's your, your tablespoon of this as well. Right there. I'm also doing some holographic hexes in 2mm, which is these here. I don't know if you could even see it there. Okay, there's going to be more bags, so I'm just going to put that, try to get them in frame as best as I could. I'm also going to do, I'm going to do half of a tablespoon like this, of those, right in there. I am also going to throw in some of the my champagne gold tinsel, which is these right here in the high flash metallic. And that one is right here. I'm going to do a smaller one of this one. I'm going to do just a teaspoon. Okay, a teaspoon. You see how with this one, like nothing really sticks to it. It's like a brushed, a brushed finish. And then this one, I believe it's because it has a shiny finish. It's like, I don't know. It's got to be why, guys. It's got to be why. Okay. I am also going to throw in some of these really beautiful, um golden it's like a bronzy a golden bronze luster butterflies as well also going in there i'm also going to do about a teaspoon a very heaping teaspoon but of course you're getting a tablespoon of everything okay everything's going to be a tablespoon except for one glitter in here and that's just because it's it's one of my more expensive ones for me to get, so um, to keep the bundle low as I can possibly keep it for you guys, uh, I'm going to make sure you guys get a nice teaspoon of it, okay? So the next one is I'm going to throw in these holographic black hexes in 2mm, and again, I'm just going to do a teaspoon Again, to, to break up the, the mix, I'm also going to do them in holographic black butterflies. So you're going to get some nice little butterflies in this bundle. 
so holographic black butterflies. I'm also going to do a teaspoon. Like so. I am also doing these really beautiful uh, plum, golden plum butterflies. And they have a beautiful golden shimmer. And these are fantasy butterflies. So we're also throwing a teaspoon of that as well. A very generous one. Right there. Again, you're getting a tablespoon of it. I am also doing these really pretty clear iridescent swirls in the white, and they kind of have the blue and pink effect to it. So we're throwing that as well in there. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of this. almost done here. I'm also going to be doing my mirror effect butterflies right here. And I am going to throw two teaspoons of this as well. And the lastly, is going to be my holographic ultra fine flakes and these are ultra ultra like <laughs> ultra fine little shreds they're like flakies you see there they're little flakes And we're gonna do a. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of this as well. And this is the only one that you're gonna get a teaspoon of, okay? So I'm gonna make sure to throw a very big teaspoon of that in there. See? And let's give this a mix. And see what it looks like. So again, uh, you guys are welcome to go ahead and give this pretty mix a name. And I will make sure my daughter helps with picking a name just like last time. And we will record it so you guys can see who the winner was for this one really pretty oh it's so pretty it's super sparkly I wish it would come up come up on the video better so there you go guys, this one has lots of butterflies in it as well, but it is a red mix and you've seen everything that was in it, so let me know what you guys think and, and let me know what we should name this pretty mix. And of course everyone is going to get a full tablespoon as well, along with everything that came in the mix. So you can make it again, and of course you can make your own version of it. Uh, let's see here the how many bags you're getting, including a tablespoon of the mix. So let's go ahead and do that here really quickly. Generous amount. There we go. So there's the mix, guys. So let's go ahead and count the bags and see everything 
that you're getting and this way you can see exactly what you're paying for. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty with the mix. So this is a a make a mix bundle of 20 glitters, all a tablespoon, except for this one. This one's gonna be a teaspoon. Um, however, this teaspoon alone, I sell it for $4 for a teaspoon bag, okay? But I'm going to be charging it just like the rest. I am doing these all for $1.50 a bag. So $1.50 times 20, is a total of $30. So I am going to do this whole bundle for, um, I'm just gonna keep it at, uh, I'm gonna do $28.50. And I will take care of the shipping, okay? So that is it guys, that is my make and mix for you guys. Again, it doesn't have a name, so you guys are welcome to help name it and we will pick a winner and the winner will of course get a tablespoon okay i know last time i said a teaspoon but um i changed it to a tablespoon so the winner will always um, be sure to get a full a tablespoon okay so yeah uh you are actually getting all of these for less than a dollar fifty and uh i am providing the shipping for you so i am asking twenty eight fifty uh, for the whole bundle, including the mix. All right, questions, comments, you can leave them below. Thanks, you guys, so much for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time, guys. Bye.